Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day and today we're reviewing a makeup product. I love reviewing makeup. I know it's not the most popular thing anymore. I don't care, I still like doing it. So today we're going to review the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spots all-in-one concealer plus serum. So this is a medium buildable coverage concealer plus serum with a creamy lightweight texture. It says it says it has 2% niacinamide hyaluronic acid to support skin elasticity as well as caffeine to make your skin look brighter. So we're gonna find out if that's right today. I will right off the bat, I know very early into the video, say that when you look at the swatches, like you say a good Ulta's listing for this item, it's $30 and you look at the swatches, when you get them in person, the one that is lighter on the chart is darker in person. So something's weird with our lighting system. So I have two shades here. I have Fair Neutral 11 and Cool Light 20. The one that's supposed to be lighter is significantly darker. So the coloring situation is weird, but I'm excited regardless, and let's get started with today's video. Really quickly, as we get ready for this review, if you want to check out my small business, theopencrypt.com, I'll leave it linked down below for you. As you're seeing this video, I'm going to put a sale up, and you can use code YouTube, and you can save 15% off all my products. I feel like my prices are already really affordable. I like to keep things really affordable so they're more accessible to people, but I'm just feeling like it's it's a good time for a sale on theopencrypt.com. So I'll leave that link down below, code YouTube, save 15%, and let's, let's get into it. So because this is a concealer, I need to prep my face and get my face ready for concealing. So I'm going to start off with primer. I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. It is on my project pan, and I'm going to keep using it. Also, because this is a medium coverage, natural finish, like brightening with the caffeine, concealer plus serum. I want my skin to be very dewy today. So that's what we're gonna go for. So I think illuminating primer is really gonna help that. And also I'm making really good progress on using it. Like I started there when we started the project pan and now I'm up to here. Like I've been using it consistently, which is good. Cause then I'll have more room in my collection for like trying a new primer. I may be a little late to the game when it comes to reviewing this because I pulled up Ulta's listing on my computer so I could like tell you guys what's in it and stuff. And it already has 1,921 reviews with an average of 4.6 out of 5 stars. So I'm already hopeful. I haven't read the reviews yet, but I'm hoping it's going to be nice. For foundation, I'm going to go in with the It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow Skin Tint. Uh, and I'm in the shade Fair. I figured if we we're gonna do the It Cosmetics, we might have to do the matching skin tint foundation. This is also not gonna give me the most coverage. It's really just gonna kinda even me out. And then we'll actually be able to see like what is the coverage of this concealer when we put that on. Also, for some reason, I really like the way this smells. Like I don't think it technically has a scent, but like it has a, it, it, it does make a smell. And I, I like it a lot, I don't know why. So for my foundation, I'm going to stick to just that one pump. It's not much coverage. Like I said, it just kind of evens me out because I really want to see the coverage of this concealer we're testing out today. So like I said, I have two shades. This is supposed to be the lighter one. It's Fair Neutral 11. But somehow Light Cool 20 is lighter. I even checked the swatches again, like on the little arm swatches they have on Ulta's listing. This is supposed to be a lot lighter and I don't really understand why it's not. So on the top here has this like little brush, right? You can use this if you want to blend it out with that. Um, I think that's best for someone who's going to use like minimal amounts of it. Just blend it out, look really effortless. This is going to hold a lot of bacteria. So make sure you clean it regularly if you are going to use that. I'm just going to use the wand on the inside directly. It has a cute little doe foot. Isn't that kind of cute? Like a little round doe foot there. I'm going to use this directly under my eyes and blend it out with a sponge because that's how I like my concealer. Personal preference, of course. You could use a brush too if you wanted. Let's just do like that. I'm gonna go back in here. How's that? And then we'll spot correct like I normally would since we don't have a lot of coverage on our foundation. I will say I like this little doe foot thing. It sits very flat on my face. Usually I like the doe foot wands are just kind of like a long thing or they might have like a little bit of a round shape at the end and you're kind of just smashing a stick on your face. This one sits because it's like the shape of it. It sits kind of flat on my face, which I enjoy. It feels really easy to apply that way. And now let's just start blending out. I will say for this being 
the color it is, I feel like it should probably be a little less tan. However, I've noticed that it cosmetics, even the things that are labeled fair, they're not typically like the most fair on the market. However, if you have like a little bit of a natural tan or your skin complexion doesn't have like a really cool undertone like mine, it probably will work, especially since it's not the most coverage in the world. And it does blend out really nicely. Like this is blending out lovely. So even if you don't get the perfect shade match, because again, the, the lighting color swatches are kind of off, it blends out so nicely. And if you're not wearing too much foundation, I think it'll probably work regardless. So here is my under eyes. Now, obviously it's not gonna get rid of my eyes being sunken in. That's how my eyes are. This looks really nice, I will say. It is medium. Like I can still see some discoloration coming through. Right here you can see a lot of the darkness. It says it's buildable. So let's go back in and find out. So taking that little flat doe foot again, which I'm really enjoying. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more to see if it is actually buildable. And I'm just gonna lightly tap this in. I really love how this blends, to be honest. Like, I know I already said that, but it's like not much effort. I've had so many concealers lately that I've tried that kind of just like dry in place before I can blend it out. And this one is so blendable and pretty. I'm enjoying it. So because it's really shiny and my under eyes are sunken in, I'm not really sure we get the best I guess that shows okay, but when I look down like this, you just see my dark circles. Um, I don't think it gives the best representation of it. I think it looks nice, honestly, for being a medium coverage. It looks nice, it looks hydrating under my eyes. I am going to set it with some setting powder because that's how I wear my makeup. I like to set it, see how it lasts throughout the day. So let's set it. If it's not a good concealer, when I set it with powder, it's going to take away some of that foundation or some of that coverage, not foundation. It's going to take away some of the coverage by me packing powder on. Um, and if it is a good one, it should stay the same coverage, just less shiny. So I'm taking a little bit of the Sigma setting powder under here. Not going to like heavily pack it on. I'm just tapping some on to stop creasing. And there is my set under eye. This one's unset, this one's set. I like to set because I crease. So let's do the other one and I'll go ahead and set the rest of my face and then we'll start talking again. Okay, my face is set now. We can really see the coverage, especially like we're, we're at a talking distance right now. Um, under eyes don't look phenomenal, you know? Um, they look kind of dark, so I think the shade wasn't perfect for me. However, I don't think it looks bad and I still feel like my under eyes look hydrated. I did set my face, of course, but I didn't really pack on the powder like I normally would, just so it still stays dewy. And I think it looks okay. Um, I think the shade match wasn't the perfect one for me. Even though I went for the lighter in the tube out of the two, um, it could have been better. However, I'm probably still gonna get a lot of use out of this on days where I'm not wearing much makeup. Like, I'm just gonna run errands, maybe run to the thrift store, Dollar Tree, just throw on a little bit of concealer, nothing else. It's something I'd probably reach for again. So let me finish up the rest of my face and we'll do like a recap of everything. I feel like it was pretty standard when I think about it, but let me just finish my face so I can talk to you normally without thinking about what I'm doing next. Okay, I'm back. So let's talk about the concealer. Now that I've had some time to like look at it as I'm doing the rest of my makeup, I like it, but I don't love it. I like it because it has good ingredients in it. I think the coverage is nice, medium, and it's really easy to blend out. And I think when I'm wearing nothing, just going out, and I just want to throw a little bit of concealer on, a moisturizer and concealer, and that's it, I think it's going to look nice. However, I, I just feel like the shade is wrong. I don't know if zooming in even helped that. I just feel like they need to work on... Like, which shade is... I'm going to swatch both of them because I just used the lighter one and I just want to make sure that this one is darker. I mean, obviously in the tube it's darker. But, like, I just feel like they need to label their shades better. Um, better representation of their shades because I feel like when I buy something expecting it to be light, it should be light. So, let's see. So, this is the Fair Neutral 11. There's that color. And then this is the one I used, which is 
light cool 20. Yeah, that's significantly lighter. So the one I used, which is supposed to be darker, and the one that was supposed to be lighter is definitely not. So it's not just a tube illusion. So if I used the lightest one that I have here, it would have been way too peachy. And then the one I have here that's supposed to be darker is a decent color. So I feel like for $30, I should know the shade that I'm getting um, without having to like guess and hope it works. I do think that like a lot of these shades, because it is medium coverage and it's really easy to blend out and you're wearing a foundation underneath, especially, I feel like you would probably be able to blend it and make it work. Just, but I just want no guessing when it comes to like, a can like a concealer shade. I don't have to, I shouldn't have to guess like, is this one going to be the right shade or not? I mean, you are guessing a little bit when you do buy concealer online, but like it shouldn't be this inconsistent, I feel like. And then for the price tag as well, um, I don't feel like I needed the little brush. Like whatever this little brush up top cost, I feel like it could have been chopped off the price. However, with the good ingredients in it, it is a nice coverage. Um, I do enjoy it, but I'd, I'd say I'd say five out of 10 because I, I like a lot of things about it, but I don't like that the shades aren't consistent. I don't feel like it needed the brush and then it is $30. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Short and sweet makeup review. Also, in case you're wondering what's on my eyes, I do a leave, I leave what's on my face in the description box, but it's the new Nomad Cosmetics Royal Europe palette. I just thought it was really pretty and I really wanted to reach for it. So <laughs> that's what's on my eyes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out my small business, theopercrypt.com. Link down below. And I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Okay, bye.